it was. They just starting to catch our buzz. Opposition get nicked in the bud. Why is it in the crowds around me? I'm observing time. Like our knowledge, we just peeking through the blinds of outside. But don't call me Einstein because it's easy to MC. Besides that dismantle all the lies and headlong enterprises. Yeah. Hey, you know these devils wear disguises, but they can't be you. Why? We was bought with a price that's priceless. Though we got our vices, I pray he save us from the dark. Uh, using all outlets to start a spark. Taking charge, vanguards. Got them thinking these damn guards is waking up. Your pure gold. Put this roll into your memory. Uh. And like you feel in this position as this, this hero. And our people don't have that. They need one. You gotta be that. I tear a bite out it. Uh, my stomach bitter, but uh, what more can I say? Welcome to the fray. Welcome to the fray. Welcome to the fray. Uh. Yeah. Hey, bring us in. Bring us in. Bring us in. Hey, that fire track right there. Yeah. Yeah. That's from Second Kings. Welcome to the fray. Mm. And if you listen to the lyrics, it goes over what we was talking about in the show. In silo, it goes right into it. And we got, you know what? Throughout the show, we might, I might, we might go back to it and then be like, hey, he said this. I played again. Go do. <laughs> well, we might do it. So, anyways, without further ado, y'all, I'm Officer Abraham to my right. Officer Ezekiah. And this is the Arm of God, Arm of Arm of Arm of God radio show. That's it right yep. there. That's it right there. I'm glad to be there. Yes, sir. Okay. Good to have you. Good okay. to have you. Okay. So, um, what we're doing is, and we have a little, y'all can tell, we have a little different perspective that we got going on here. So, we're trying something different over here at AOG. Uh-huh. Um, hey. hey, we can open up with our, with our scripture. We're going, this, so this is part two of Silo is America. Silo is America. Mm. Let's give it our opening scripture, Ephesians. The book of Ephesians, chapter six, verse 11. Uh-huh. Put on the whole armor of God, right? That he may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. That you might be able to stand. That you may be able to stand against the tricks that the devil got out there. Right. That's that's what the song "Welcome to the Fray." He was talking about that in the whole first verse. Hmm. He said, "Hey, um, they they got them losing their mind. That man, these damn gods are waking up." Right. He said, "You pure gold." But they have to get the wiles of the devil off of them, so that way you got to put on that armor first. Right. Give me that Revelation twelve. 12 and 15? The book of Revelation, chapter 12, verse 15. Uh-huh. And the serpent cast out of his mouth water as a flood. Water as a flood. Cast out a lot of lies, a lot of doctrine to go after who? Go ahead. And the woman, after, that, after the woman. Yeah, to go after the woman. The woman will be us, according to Jeremiah 6 and 2. Go ahead. Right. That he might cause her to be carried away of the flood. They might cause her to be carried away with all of the lies, all of the propaganda. That's the whole purpose that they're actually putting out things, even on movies, social media. They do that so that way they can indoctrinate you so you can be further away from God's truth. That's why they do it. Uh, get, now, Revelation 18, I want to say it's 11. That's the other one I want. It says, um, there should be no more here in the bride. That one. Revelation 18, I want to say. Yes, sir. Give me that. The book of Revelation, chapter 18, verse 11. No, it's not 11. Um... It's verse 23. I'm sorry. I'm way off. 23. The book of Revelation, chapter 18, verse 23. Uh-huh. And the light of a candle shall shine no more at all in thee. Right. So there's not going to be, this is no longer going to be Lucifer, the light bearer. It's not going to no more be the place where this is the land of the free and home of the brave that they say. That's done. Go ahead. And the voice of the bridegroom uh-huh. and of the bride Go ahead. shall be heard no more. At all indeed. No more rejoicing for America. Read. For thy merchants were the great men of the earth. And what? For, for, hey, thy, for by? For by thy sorcery. By your witchcraft, by their lies, by that water, by the TV, by the radio, by all of it. Go ahead. Social media. Go ahead. Were all nations deceived. Were all nations deceived. So, last one. Romans 13 and 12. The book of Romans chapter 13 verse 12. Yeah. The night is far spent. The night is far spent. Time to, the sleepy time is over. Go ahead. The day is at hand. The day to wake up. The time of judgment is almost here. Go ahead. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness. Let's put off the wiles of the devil. Go ahead. And let us put on the armor of light. And put on this book, this Bible. Let us do that. 
Let's put on this Bible. Let's put on that armor. And one of the ways you put on the armor is by watching carefully the things that comes into your vision, the, the, the stuff that you're watching, hey. TV, the music you're listening to. So that being said, this is a I'm, so previously on Armor of God. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that soon. Uh, maybe you might clip the voice. Previously on the Armor of God. Right. Um, I want to show. Let me see. What do I want to go back to? Give me the. Let me see. Hold on. Matter of fact, hey, hey, it's real talk. Real, real quick, say something. Yeah. Uh, read on the verse uh, thirteen. Because he said, let us put on the armor of light. Read on. Verse 13. Let us walk honestly as in the day. So when you put on the armor, uh, the armor of light, you must walk honestly. You still can't do the thing that you once did. God Word. said what? Let us walk honestly as in the day. Why it's still called today? Because you don't know when Christ returns. So you always got to live honestly once you put on the armor of God. Read. Not in rioting. Not in riots and getting caught up in this life with all the riots and all these things that's happening in the political, uh, political uh, area. Go ahead. And drunkenness. And not being drunk. Go ahead. Not in chambering mm -hmm. and wantonness. Uh -huh. Not in strife and envy. None of those things, but go ahead. Verse 14. But put ye on the Lord Jesus Christ. And that's the armor. Put on the Lord Jesus Christ is keeping his commandments and the faith of his son, the black Messiah. Read. And make not provision for the flesh. And that's going to be an issue. You got to stay focused. Don't put no kink in your armor, read. Right. To fulfill the lust thereof. And don't fulfill the lust thereof because it's easy to fulfill the lust because this whole world is full of lust. All right? You got to keep that armor on. Right. Now, this is where I want to start. So I want my images, the images that I had up. So I want the three books, Wool, Shift, and Dust. Give me those. Well, give me the uh, the, the thumbnail of Silo first. Give me that. This is what I'm going to call. I'm going to come back on that. So this is what we was reviewing last time, right? It says, the truth will surface. Silo, right? Um, I also had a definition up there about what silo is. Yeah, I also had the definition of uh, what silo is the, um, the, uh, in regards to the show. So now it says right there, uh, number three, a system, process, department, etc. that operates in isolation from others. It operates in isolation from others. So they do their own thing, right? Okay, I had another definition I sent y'all last week. Um, and it was saying about the show, what, you know, it was like a, it's a screenshot. Can y'all find that? Okay, so read that, uh, James. In the Silo series, uh -huh. the world has been destroyed by a nuclear war. Right, and then previously, we had went through, even in one of the books, it had gave detail about that the destruction was orchestrated, that it had to happen like that. Hey. And there was a, a dome over a certain place of uh, where 50 of the silos were. Everybody within that dome dies the second that they go outside to walk when they leave the silo. But it was orchestrated for them to die that way. Seed, we're going to get back to that in a second. That's the part that we're getting into today. So it says, the world has been destroyed by nuclear war that has left the planet radioactive and unstable. Read the next part, air, air supply. Air supply. The air outside the silo has become toxic and deadly. Right, go ahead. Nature. The chaos of the war has ended nature. Has ended nature, read Resources. Survivors must fight for resources and armaments. And armaments. Armaments. Right. armaments. Good, good, good. Uh, so, now, this being said, I want to go to the book, the images of the books. So I want wool. Yeah, give me those. You, you, that's, it should be up there. Yeah, give me those images of the books. Yeah, so, one of them. Sir. Now, this one, we had went through last week. That was going over... Now, this is by Hugh Howie, but that was going over um, Holston and his wife, Allison. When they finally start to wake up, realize, oh, well, we're not the type of people that they want having kids. So there's a certain, what they did, just to catch, just to catch you up, they had did, um, they have a certain time that they're allowed to have kids. They have one year, and they get a lot of that time from the government that's in there and manages role and whatever. And this is their third and final time. And so there was a, a point, like a video, where they were taking out the uh, birth control pill, the, a birth control capsule, whatever they had placed inside their body. But it never really did. It was fake. Huh? And so they had did that as a representation to how they put Planned Parenthood in our neighborhoods because they don't, and they don't expect that, they, that we would have children. They don't want us to have children. Hey. They don't want us to. Next one. Next book. All right, shift. 
So this one is where, this is where I'm going to pick up from. Because we had went there. Now this is where they start to realize things was funny. Riots start to happen, issues and all that other stuff. Next book. And this is when they actually finally get outside of that realm where they die and towards seed, or how the book says, the wilderness. So, that's where we left off at. So now, this is what I want to do. This is what I want to do. This is what I want to do. Go to, I need to find a number. I need to find a number. Uh, give me one second. It says, it's the, the article about shift. So I think that's number 21. Give me number 21. Give me number 21, sir. Y'all got it? Okay. What happened? Bring it back up. All right, so now, jump down. So we're going to go to plot summary, and we're going to begin where it says the National Convention. So go down. Go down. So you see 2110, 2052. A lot of this we went over last week. Just go ahead and watch that. Go down. Go down. 2212, 2312, right? Okay, 2345. Now we did some math in between here also. Is that it? Uh, where it says, um, begin at the National Convention. Where is that at? Scroll up a little bit. Scroll up. A little faster, scroll up. Uh, pause, let me see, 2312. Scroll up a little bit. Scroll up. I don't see it. All right, well, go back down to 20, go, go back down to, yeah. Start at 2312 and 2312, start there. All right, so you're going to do a little bit of reading, James. Here we go. Go ahead. In 2312, uh -huh. Silo 17 falls when someone opens the airlock. Uh -huh. Panic ensues. The IT shadow, second in command, locks his 16-year-old son, Jimmy, in a hidden bunker right. beneath the server room to keep him safe. So now, at this time, because nobody never really left the silo. Right? Nobody never really left the silo before and survived. This woman by the name of Juliet Nichols had survived, and there were other silos. Silo 1 had the leaders that orchestrated all of them, and they kept themselves or their bodies in like a cryo sleep. The way they kept themselves alive is they had these nanobots that was inside of them. And what it did was it helped to regenerate their cells, their muscle tissue, and so on and so forth, so they don't die as long as their body was in cryo sleep. So that being said, Silo 1 always makes sure that whoever is rebelling is the ones who get killed. Listen, the, the ones who rebel is the one who wound up getting killed in the silo. Silo 17 started to rebel. They started to have problems. And so that way the airlock opened because they wanted to get out, to get air, to finally see what it's like to live outside the silo. Most of them died, and this is the result of one of them. So now, this wasn't in the show, but it's coming out. But I'm breaking it down in this way because I want you to see the full picture. So now, let's go from there for several years, right there. For several years, Jimmy hides in the server room's bunker uh -huh. while listening to the fighting that continues outside. Go ahead. Over time, however, he needs more supplies and begins sneaking out to explore the silo. Right. As time passes, Jimmy sees fewer and fewer signs of other survivors. Right. In the silo's lowest level, he finds a cat in the flooded mechanical rooms. Right. Jimmy and the cat, which he calls Shadow, Survive on food growing in the farms and on canned goods. Right, so he survived off of his preps, right? Interesting. Go ahead. At the 34-year mark, Jimmy is shocked when a woman from the outside later revealed as Juliet Nichols invades his silo. Right, Juliet Nichols invades his silo. Okay, good. Scroll down. Donald is. Read, read that. Donald is awakened again in 2345. So now he's awakened again near the time where... The, what we see on the show, this is where this is going on. I'm about to do some math again. We're going to bring the calculator out again so you can see it. Uh, I want y'all to get number 14 queued up. Get it ready because we're about to go there in a second. Number 14. But read that. But this time, the workers believe he's Thurman for reasons unknown to Donald. So Thurman was one of the main guys who also orchestrated the destruction of the world at the time. So that way he can keep everybody in the silo. Go ahead. Game by Anna. To save the people in Silo 1. Who were all in cryo sleep. Go ahead. Donald learns. Now, that this is all hip talk of how they're using it, but just to make it plain, they have everybody within all 50 silos underneath some kind of condition to where they keep them stupid or where they keep them servile, keep them as servants, right? Making them believe that all their life is within that silo. That's what they're making them believe. The rebellion is there was life before this, and our life didn't just start here. There that, that, that was life before this. What was life like? 
When you start asking the question or trying to find out what life was like before they went into a silo, that's when you start to get killed. So, go ahead. Donald learns. Donald learns that a cleaner wandered away from silo 18. Which is what we're getting into today. Juliet Nichols. Go ahead. He instructs no one to interfere with the cleaner. Uh Uh-huh. Juliet Nichols. Go ahead. Assuming that she's walking toward an empty silo. Now, pause real quick. Jump to number 14. Okay. Now, play that. Now, this is free. This is for Freedom Day. So, this is their holiday that they made over rebellion. Because you know how they make... Um, real quick, James. Give me, uh, no, give me Revelation chapter 11. I didn't pull this out last time. They had made a holiday based off of Freedom Day because they said that they had destroyed the rebels, right? That's similar to something. Go to uh, Revelation 11 and verse... What I want? Hold on one second. I didn't have this inside of my notes. Uh, I do want 10, but I want to start at 8. The book of Revelations, 11, chapter 11, verse 8. Uh-huh. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city. Read. Which, is spiritually, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. Spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. Go ahead. Where also our Lord was crucified. So that's talking about here in America. Spiritually, as a spirit, the place where we will be considered dead not literally we did die here but literally we did and then spiritually our you know we're not here we're not with god this place has the spirit of sodom lgbt right and egypt slavery servitude go ahead verse nine Uh uh-huh and they are the people and kindreds and tongues and nations so all nations go ahead shall see their dead bodies notice that the 12 tribes were killed murdered and then their spirit is gone from them. They see, the, oh yeah, look, that was right there. That was the children of God. But look at what happened to them over there in America. Go ahead. Shall see their dead bodies three days and a half. So 350 years. And shall not suffer their dead bodies to be put in graves. Because there, it's not a literal death we're talking about here. It's talking spiritually. It's talking spiritually. And that's in uh, Proverbs. I'm going to get that in a second. Give me number, uh, verse 10. Verse 10. Uh-huh. And they that dwell upon the earth shall rejoice over them. So now, the ones who had did the destruction to us shall rejoice over them, right? Go ahead. And make merry. And make merry, like Merry Christmas. They shall make merry, have a holiday commemorating the destruction of the 12. Damn. Go ahead. And shall send gifts one to another. And send gifts one to another? Because these two prophets Go- tormented them. Southern kingdom and northern kingdom. Go ahead. That dwelt on the earth. So, that being said, um, the precept, Proverbs, what was that again? 2116, give me that. The book of Proverbs, chapter 21, verse 16. Uh-huh. The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding right. shall remain in the congregation of the dead. He said, so if they have no understanding, that means you're, you're dead. That's what he's saying. Hey. The way of understanding is God's law. So if you didn't have it, that means you're dead. Everybody in the silo, they don't know. Matter of fact, hey, look, look check it, check it, check it. Um, watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Instead of, re- instead of 14, right, what I want you to do is I want you to go to... Let's see. Give me one second. One second. I want the, I want the one that says, uh, number 11. There we go. Number 11. Give me number 11 first. You, you starting, you're starting to get, get with the way it's going, right? Yeah. <laughs> Give me number 11. So, watch this. This is Holston. This was on the wall. But this is how you know the same thing we just was bringing out is what he's about to say right here. Come on. This is how it opens up. Let me live in with value. We do not know why we are here. He said, we don't know why we're here. Now pause. I did this last time. Notice inside the silo, it's massive, but notice inside the silo, there's different compartments, offices that you do. They have some that do agricultural work, some that do IT, some that do security, some that, but all of it is to the benefit of the silo, the benefit of America. This particular silo is considered Georgia. This particular silo is considered Georgia. And the reason why that one is considered there, they made sure it was Southern, that's Judah. So there's the ones that woke up first. So now, watch this, he said, we don't know why we're here. So they the ones, that's, they was like, why are we here? Go ahead. We do not know who built 
the silo. We don't know who built the silo. We went over who did it last week. Go ahead. I'm saying go ahead like it's not playing. <laughs> we do not know why everything outside the silo is as it is. Yeah, we don't know why everything is unlivable. We don't know why it's as it is. Hey, Sam. Uh, skip ahead a little bit. Just a little bit, just a tad. Tad. Little more. Little more. Little more. Right there. Play. So notice it's barren out there, right? Okay. When it will be safe to go outside. You don't know when it's going to be safe to go outside. Okay. We only know that day. Uh huh. It's not this day. So, all right, from there, let's go to 14. So he said, we only know that that day ain't this day. Like, for example, we don't know the exact time when we're leaving, when we're going to get delivered. We just know that that day is not this day because prophecies haven't, f haven't unfolded yet. Certain prophecies haven't unfolded yet. He's asking and saying the same questions. To give sense to it, those of y'all who come across this channel and look at this, the same thing that they're placing on a show, they're making a certain mockery towards you. Black, Hispanic, and Native Indians. They're making a certain mockery towards you. Damn. Watch this. Give me number 14 now. Freedom Day. Watch this. Everybody all. You know, I did last week. I didn't pull Daniel 3. I didn't think about doing that. I might still. We, we might. Go ahead. Play on. Six minutes. Six minutes. And six seconds. And six seconds. Past six o'clock. Past six o'clock. So notice, pause. Six minutes, six seconds past six o'clock. What's that? That's six, six, six. Oh. Now, we didn't say nothing about it last time. But it's talking about six minutes and six seconds past the, uh, you know, six something. But they used the number 666, which that's the mark of a man. Which man? The man of sin. Esau. The devil. The devil. The one who made that image. Matter of fact, real quick, Revelation 13. Real quick. Revelation 13. We didn't pull this last week, but that's why, I, that's why I said. So the recap is done, by the way. We're going forward now. Uh, Revelation 13 and verse, let's see here. 11. Start there. The book of Revelations, chapter 13, verse 11. Go just a, and read it just a tad faster. That's all I need. Go ahead. And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth. So I, held, I beheld another beast. Now, hold that real quick. Um, Ecclesiastes 3 and 18. I want to say that's it. Hold that right there. So that way you can give, I can give you understanding. Because it mentions the six second, six minute on the sixth day of that, right? Symbolism is in a lot of things. Even if Esau don't know why they do certain things, they're like, oh, well, you just made this for fun. It's not what you guys are saying it is. Well, as our bodies, our spirit that's in this truth is inspired by God. Hey. Even, even though you don't know it, everything you do is inspired by Satan. Hey. There's spiritual forces behind you creating something and it get popular. Satan was behind it. Watch this. The book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 18. Uh -huh. I said in my heart concerned. Go ahead. Concerning the estate of the sons of men. That what? That God might manifest them. That what? And that they might see that they themselves are beasts. That they might see that they themselves are beasts. So now when we go back to Revelation, right? Watch this. The book of Revelation, chapter 13, verse 11. Watch this. And I beheld another beast. So I beheld another man. This is people coming. This is nations of men coming into power to rule. Right? Go ahead. Coming up out of the earth. So he wasn't ruling at first, but now he's starting to rise in power. That's what he's talking about. Go ahead. And he had two horns like a lamb. And he had two certain powers. Because usually when the animals that have the horns, they use that as a form of defense. And when they have horns and it's strong enough and it's long enough, they can be able to fend off any kind of other beast, any kind of other threat. So that horn was a representation of their power. But it had two. It had, then the two was Democrat hey. and Republican. He had two horns. Go ahead. And he spake as a dragon. So, he, so now it spake. He had two horns like a lamb. That's the part you missed. Read that part again. And he? And he had two horns like a lamb. So he had two horns like a lamb. Hey, free health care. They'd never see that. But uh, we'll get more jobs. We'll get this. We'll do that. They always have that. So they spake in somewhat of a submissive way to get the people's attention to vote. But the intent behind it is, read on. And he spake as a dragon. But he spake as a dragon. So... He had two horns like a lamb, so you look at him and be like, oh, they're innocent. But his speech is all twisted. It's meant to get you caught up. 
Right. So this same man jumped down to 14. Verse 14. And deceived them that so, dwelled on earth. And the same man deceived everybody on the earth. Read. By the means of those miracles. The bombs that dropped over in Hiroshima and Nagasaki. That's what's read down in verse 13. Read. Which he had power to do in the sight of the beast. Come on. Saying to them that dwell on the earth. Come on. That they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by, the, by sword uh -huh. and did live. So this one had a wound by the sword and did live. That was talking about Rome. Once they fell, they came back in power. 1492. Really 1458 if you want to go a little earlier. But 1492 is the day most marked, right? Came back in power. They dropped bombs, made sure they stopped their power after World War II. And then everybody was scared of America, and America officially really, really became that superpower. They've been had power in 1776, but they really had that superpower once they dropped that bomb on it. Everybody was like, oh, no, we can't do nothing about these guys. They established, yeah, they established. But then they also put a photo out there. They said, Jesus Christ looks like this. They made an image to that same man with power, and he was white. Go ahead. Go with verse 15. Something. They're still showing in verse 11, and wow. he had two horns like a lamb and spake as a dragon. That's right. how he moved. That's his, that's his, uh, his uh, how he moved as a person, as a nation. Right. right. They look innocent and taken care of, but behind the scenes, they're really moving in dragon ways, real evil. Right, exactly. So, that same one, this is how you know it's talking about that same man we're talking about, the so-called white man, Esau. Read the next verse. They had made an image to the beast, and whoever wouldn't worship that beast should be killed, right? So they had did that when they started to conquer and all, but they made that image, the one that's inside your grandma's house, it's real popular now. They had that. Everybody worships after Christianity, they follow behind America. This is how you know. Read verse 16. Verse 16. And he calls it all. He calls all. Both small and great. Read. Rich and poor. Read. Free and bond. Come on. To receive a mark in their right hand. Or in their forehead. Except their ways, their policies. Daniel 8, 25 says that. Go ahead. Verse 17. Come on. And that no man might buy or sell. So they have the power to stop nations and individuals, and, but nations of people to not buy or sell on the earth. They have, what other nation has the power to do that? Yeah, that's what it's talking about. Then that no man might buy or sell. There's only one nation that has the true power to stop somebody from doing that. America. They made the image. They dropped the bomb. They have two horns like a lamb. It's talking about that one race. Go ahead. Save he that had the mark. Save he that had his policies with them. Go ahead. Or the name of the beast. Which is the sin the mark is. Go ahead. Or the number of his name. So if you didn't accept his policies, his economics, and the religions that he pushed, his ideologies, then you won't get the goods that America got for him. It's called sanctions. Right. Sanctions. Go ahead. Verse 18. Come on. Here is wisdom. So here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast. So let's count the number of this same man that came to power. Go ahead. For it is the number of a man. It's a number of a man. Hey. Not an actual animal. A man. Go ahead. And his number is 603 score and six. Six, six, six. Six days, six hours, and six seconds. That's what she said. Yeah, that's what she said. So they, they had marked that, created a holiday because they had killed off the rebels. Right? Good. Let's go back to the video, number 14. Play it again. Six, six, six. On this day, 140 years ago. Uh, so now I said 140 years ago, right? Now. Now, watch this. So roughly, it's going to be a rough estimate here. But I want to show you something that the book did that they changed up a bit inside the show. Hold this video. I want to go back to the book, Shift. I want to go back there. I like this angle thing. Uh, I want to go back to the... To the book shift where it said all right no 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 not the image i want the the um yeah inside the book the the summary that's what i'm talking about the summary all right so scroll up a little bit now i want you to notice uh in 2312 right 2312 that's when one of the other silos has started to uh what is that it started to fall right okay you go down a little bit all right, and then they have 2345. Donald is awakened again, 2345. The workers believe he's Thurman, so on and so forth. Okay, so it's given time frames about when things start to happen because there was a rebellion that had happened, right? So now what I want you to do, pull up the calculator. 
if you could, on screen. And now do that math. Do the first number minus 23, or 2345 minus the other number. So 2345, no, yeah. All right, minus, what was the other one? I forget. Scroll up. It was 2312. Oh, no, no, not 23. Go up one more. I'm sorry. It's the one we didn't read. It was 2212. Let me see that one. There it is. 133. So, 133 years. So, the only number that's minus that is the number of completion, seven. So, it's like, all right, so 2212 is when they had a problem with the silo, the rebellion that they're talking about, they're celebrating. 2312 is when they had silo 17 break out, and then 34 years later, that's when Juliet Nichols breaks in in 2345. But they said 140 years, right? There's a reason why I'm bringing that out. Go ahead, what you got? Yeah, approximately, right? So that, that's what it is. It's an approximate. So good. Excellent. This is what I want you to do. Uh, go to, let me see, we was at 21, right? Now, what, this is what I want you to do. I want you to now go to dust. I want you to go to the summary for dust. I forget the numbers off the top of my head, but I'm sure y'all have it. It's right there. So give me the summary for dust. Oh, by the way, I'm sorry. WGAI. Thank y'all for tuning in. Thank y'all for tuning in. Appreciate y'all a lot. Whoever, I don't know. Y'all switching on me. So thank y'all for tuning in a lot. And those of y'all who are watching, boop, right here. Help out. Help out. All right. Yeah. Help, it up. Help us out. We, we got to get to places. We got to wake up people in the other silos. Just so you can understand. All right, so y'all got, got the summary for me? Okay, so now, dust, right? Jump to the plot uh, where it says start from in silo 18. That's where I want to start at. So scroll down. Right there. All right. All right, so here we go. Here we go. Um, in silo 18, let's hear it. Juliet holds a town hall uh -huh. and witnesses her people's unease. She decides to go back outside to gather samples to, ass to assuage people's fear. To assuage people's fear. So assuage. that means to like, encourage them to not be scared, right? So she noticed it. Now, Silo 18 is the silo that we were just looking at. They always saw people die when they went out to clean, meaning they went outside the silo because they didn't want to stay. People always died, right? So, Juliet, she survived. And she went into Silo 17 that had the riot before. So, go ahead. Just then, the digger breaks through to Silo 17. Uh -huh. Silo 18 explores Silo 17 and brings the survivors back for medical treatment. Because Silo 18 had more provisions. So, there's, so one state had more provisions than the other state. Or if you want to put it like this, one country had more provisions than the other country. Overseas, right? Go ahead. The survivors are nervous and feel out of place. Because they're not familiar with the ways of how this other silo or this other country or this other state works. Go ahead. At least finds a rest... At least finds and rescues a puppy. Read. Meanwhile, Juliet gathers samples from the outside and brings them back. Uh huh. Going through extensive sanitary precautions to prevent contamination. Right, because there's contamination on the outside of the silo that causes the people to get killed or die. Here's the thing. Notice in the top part. Move it. Move uh, the screen. All right. Notice in the top part it says that it starts to be uneasy inside of her silo in silo 18. Right. Um. Go to. This is what I want you to do. Go to number 24. So we're going to keep this, right? But go to number 24, and it's the introduction. I want you to start at one minute. Because this was also mentioned last week, but I got to re-bring this back up. Watch this. Give me some sound now. Give me, give me, give me, give me you know. All right, so now this was in the introduction, right? They have the stairways almost similar to like DNA. I just want y'all to see what y'all be watching. Now, pause. I want you to notice what the people are doing. Hey, as you tell me, what does it look like they're doing? Play? It work? Nah. What did, nah, look, what does it look like they're doing? Hey, running. They running around, but doing what? We just read it. That's it, they all running around. Mm. They're going crazy. Oh, going the same, huh? Yeah, because it's the introduction. Yeah. But this part didn't come out on the show yet. Mm. So later when they drop it out, they're going crazy inside the cellar because it's showing chaos. Yeah. That's what it's doing. Hey. Boy, right now. Yeah. Mm. There's a civil war going on right there in Silo 18. There's, there's chaos that's going on. And that's one of the things that they have wound up seeing. So go back to now the, the summary. 
Go back to summary. I think it was number 23. I'm caught up with my numbers now. I know where I'm at. I can direct y'all a little better. So give me that. Number 23. All right. So we was at the survivor's nervous, blah, blah, blah. Meanwhile. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Good. Give me that. Meanwhile. You want to start back at meanwhile? Yeah. Meanwhile, Juliet gathers samples. Meanwhile, Juliet gathers samples from the outside and brings them back. Uh Uh-huh. Going through extensive sanitary precautions to prevent contamination. Go ahead. She and her lover, IT head Lucas, Reed. transport the samples to a lab where she performs experiments and realizes with horror that the silos are pumping out the toxins, making the earth unlivable. So, so, the silos, which is America, right? You can look at it whether it's the states or you can look at it as the whole country. Hey. The silos are pumping out toxins that makes the earth unlivable. So there's like, you remember in the top one when we had did it, they said, we do not know when it's going to be safe to go outside. Well, part of the reason why it's not safe to go out is because the cell you're in, the generator that you're working on, is what's pushing the stuff out to make sure that you have to stay inside. So, hold on. Hold on now. This is what I want to do. This is what I want to do. Keep that right. We're we going to come back to that. Go to 25. Go to 25. All right, so check this out. Read that for me. Cotap. Cotap.org. Uh, per capita CO2 emissions. Cotap counteracts your CO2 emissions through projects which empower poor communities in four projects on three continents. On three continents. Okay, interesting. Go ahead. 90% of net proceeds go to our partners. So now, anyways, I don't care about the rest of that. I thought I had more in there because I didn't read it last time. But go ahead. Scroll down. Now, I want you to see live what is going on on the map. So roll your, mi- roll your mouse over to some of those countries. Canada, 14.2 tons of emissions, CO2, making the earth unlivable, right? America, 14.9, making the earth unlivable. Go over to, uh, matter of fact, hey, this is what I want you to do. You see that bar down there, like 0205? Go through each one of those. It's showing you the countries that have the emissions. Keep going over. Look at that. They have them in Africa because they start to colonize and push that garbage over there. Keep going. Look at the countries it's having. And then the closer we get to that red, we start to get to some of the more known world, as they say. Look at this. China and all that, which is surprising anyways. I'm talking about that is not number one. Then you have America, Canada, Alaska, which is part of America, Russia. I think that's Ukraine that's underneath it that was right there. But anyways, and then over to the far right. That's over there, like the, around Dubai and some of them other areas where they push a lot of that stuff out, right? All right, all right. From there, you got anything? 26. Number 26. The same things they did inside the show. I'm telling you. I did, they was like, hey, get the music going. Uh, uh, number 26. So they have this other show that's on there. Now, remember, on a previous show, they had in 2052 is when things start to roll out. I didn't bring this out on this one. 2052 is when things rolled out to where the bombs dropped and they wind up getting, you know, well, killed. And then they had to go into the silo, right? They have another show on there called Ex- Extrapolations that goes into climate problems and making the earth unlivable. So I want you to play on until we get to the date. Human history is the story of one terrible catastrophe after another. Right. I, for once, would love to wake up magically in a better world. Right. So then you see, look at the world, how I look. Contaminated, forest fires, all of that stuff. Go ahead. What makes you think the world's going to get better? Wait, Paul, so you have to, you have to remember, Bishop Yalsop loves to say this. None of what they make is for your entertainment. Everything they put out there, they, get, they consult one with another. And it's, it takes witchcraft to build this vision for you to see it. It takes a lot of witchcraft to build. They have to consult. People in Hollywood consult with the CIA to funnel information to make sure that the information that they're putting out there is accurate enough or parabolic enough, like parables in it. So that way they can make sure that the, the, uh, the civilians catch their doctrine. None of it's for your entertainment. They, made, they put this stuff in your face because they want you to see their vision of the future or what they saw visions of the future. 
Which is going to come to pass. That's how they let. That's how they message get abroad. Revelations twelve verse fifteen. A lot of times, that's how they get their message across, right? Because they use these medias to, especially in these type of factors, sci-fi, fantasy, and all that. Yeah, that, gothic that, stuff. Yeah, that, yeah. that's actually going. It's accurate majority of the times with the Bible, like chariots, UFOs, as they say. These things are accurate according to the Bible. But what they do is they dumb it down in some way so you can stay asleep, right? But they want to dumb down the fact that we went into saving and water that down. But watch, read this. The book of Revelation, chapter 12, verse 15. Mm -hmm. And the serpent cast out of his mouth. The serpent is talking about the United States of America, Babylon the Great. But read it again. And the serpent cast out of his mouth water as a flood. The water as a flood is talking about it's media. It's media. It's me. Netflix, Hulu, Apple TV. These things are their media they use to push their message. You understand? Before COVID nineteen happened, they posted a lot of uh, 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 what was it called? A lot of um, old movies about um, world diseases and stuff like that. Showing movies about yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. But yeah. they were showing all that stuff before it happened. Yeah. Like that, they had this one on Amazon Prime called Flu. Flu. Yeah, they had that one. Yeah. It was one that I never forgot. That I remember watching in high school that uh, uh, it. Played the whole world almost. It was off a of bat dropping, going to a pig, and they were for, uh, feeding people pork all over the world and got the whole world sick. Hey, you know what's crazy about what you're saying? Mm -hmm. Because people always get amazed when they look at The Simpsons, and it's like, oh, The Simpsons knew this. Right. No, 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 no. Again, which is what we're talking right. about with them. They put their vision on shows and movies to let you know we already know what we're going to wind up doing. Right. They even predict that they're going to lose when Christ comes back. They even got a book called Esau Edom. That tell you in the first page that this world is a movie. I, well, I can't. I'm ready to touch. I can ready to touch on that thing. But it tell you that this life is a movie. It's scripted. It's scripted. But uh, just kidding. I don't want to take your point. Go ahead. The Book of Revelation, chapter twelve, verse fifteen. Uh -huh. And the serpent cast out of his mouth water as a flood. Uh -huh. After the woman. After the who? After the woman. To. Make the woman, which is us, the Israelites, look terrible, bad. That's why the news is like that, that we look evil. We never be nothing better but gangs, whores, and whoremongers, so on and so forth. But it also push their message, too, about themselves. Read. That he might cause her to be carried away from uh, the flood. And that's going into how, they, how we look upon media and that we should be like that. Is there more I want? But no, that's it. Go ahead. That's what I want to prove. No, that's good stuff. Give me that, give me that uh, video. So watch, because they say the same thing, because I'm showing you a reference of another show, because they say the same thing in multiple different ways, but it's still the same vision that they have all across the board. They had witches, they had a witch in particular, Balak, I think his name was, or Balaam, in Numbers. He had a prophecy that was written inside the Bible, right? Balak, it was Balak. And even an evil angel had gave him that, but it goes over to the destruction. They have evil angels on their side, witches on their side that see those things about what's going to happen in the future. They put stuff out here like this, and they put a lot of visions out there, the channels, the programming. So that way you see exactly what they're seeing from their side of the angels, the evil angels. One of the things is like in 2052, the bombs that went off. I'm not saying there's the time. I don't, I don't know. None of us know the time that is coming. But they're putting out different little things that say sometime in the future it's going to start looking like this. That's what they're saying. They're saying sometime in the future, it's going to start looking like this. Play on. The earth being unlivable. Go ahead. Today, people get their energy from the sun. Pay less attention to the build. No, play. Pay less attention Humans to the buildings and more attention to Mars. the environment. Cancer has been defeated. And yet for every question answered. Still have religious system. Another one appears. Right. Walls up in, in different Here's cities. What you need to know about global warming. And we'll all go to shit at the end of the century. We'll be dead. We'll have to miss it. But we'll be smiling in gold plated coffins. So now there's going to always be people who don't care. This is not the life. Now, pause. That I envision. There's going to be people who always don't care about the civilian populace. And they're going to do what they want despite knowing that the earth is going to die because of their actions. So look at, for example, the sky over there. It looked like that. What was it? Not last summer. The summer before last? Y'all remember that? When they had uh, over on the East Coast, it had a lot of smoke come down from the wildfires in Canada. Oh, or was it? Yeah, it was something. It was last summer. Okay. And then they had a lot of smoke come rushing down all over the East Coast, and the sky looked like that. 
They still have videos out where New York looked just like that. North Carolina looked like that. Boston yes, and all that stuff. Yes, sir. They was bringing that stuff out. And so that's why when you look at the show Silo, they said the Silo is pumping out fumes that's making the earth unlivable. But who's in the Silo working on the generator to make it unlivable? Who's being forced to do that? The slaves. Us. That's who they're doing it. Go ahead. Isn't it to be a man whose house is on fire is incredibly easy to negotiate with. So notice all of this, but then watch the years. We cannot give up and go Then there's re rebellions. Okay. For one simple reason. We already are home. This is our only home. I think it helps to look at climate change like this. a bear. Watch this. So 2037, 46, 47, 52. That's it. Go so now. Decades. Pause it. Pause it. So it kept on going up in years. And, but 2052, bring it back. It's the imagery behind it I want you to see. Bring it back a little bit. Stop watching it just for entertainment. God, look at the spiritual connotations behind it. Press play. You got to pause it quick. You got you to catch 2052. The whole planet's... Okay. Notice it. Just, just take a peek. What you see? I am legend. You say I am legend? <laughs> you know, hey, you know what it looked like? It looked like they had uh, some civil spats going on down there. Yeah. It looked like they had civil issues going on because some of the buildings look so halfway dilapidated. The ground is all beat up and then, uh, what is there? Some water is overran inside of some of the streets. Yeah. Right? You start to see some of that stuff. Then after that, because you see even in the book on the show Silo, after 2052 is when it got worse. Watch, play. Been wrestling with the bear for decades. Okay. After 2052, it starts to get worse. So far, the bear's been... Now, pause it right up. there. That's what I wanted to show. 2052 is when you start to see that notice, and then it, from there, it got worse. So sometime in the future, which is prophesied in the scriptures, sometime in the future, it's going to get worse. Bill Gates said it. Yep. Give me that one. Give me that one. Bill Gates. Uh, and pull up the actual YouTube video. Pull up the actual video. The devil! Give me the actual video, and then you jump to the chapter within the video that's, uh, what did it say? What did it say? It says, start where it says at carbon dioxide. Dioxide. It's like you can click on the chapters within the video. You know what I'm talking about? Okay, give me that. Donate, 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 donate. We got to get around and teach our people. WGI, we appreciate y'all. Join us on IUIC Rally or IUIC Rally 2. All right. Coming soon, we will have separate channels. I'm toss that out to you real quick. But anyways, y'all got me? Click it. All right. So let's play right from here. We all, we've seen this before, but watch this. Go ahead. Now, we put out a lot of carbon dioxide every year. Right. Uh, over 26 billion tons. Now, pause. It says they put out 26. Now, on the, the chart we had. It said 14.9, uh, 14.9. I think that was trillion at that time. No, that was 14.9 billion tons or something like that. But it's high. It's a big, it's a big old number. I almost cussed that. But anyways, that's what he's going over right here, making the earth unlivable. Go ahead. Uh, for each American, it's about 20 tons. Each American. Uh, for people in poor countries, it's less than one ton. Mm -hmm. It's an average of about five tons for everyone on the planet. And somehow we have to make changes that will bring that down to zero. It's been constantly going up. It's only various economic changes that have even flattened it at all. So we have right. to go from rapidly rising to falling and falling all the way to zero. So, this equation has So now fact. he has math that he decided. There, there's another show that I didn't go over yet called Foundation. And there's this economist that predicts that the world will end and it's going to start with civil unrest and the kings that's ruling at the time being incorrect about their prediction of longevity. He goes over that and talk about how the world's going to start to fall into decay, that it's going to start to fall apart. And he says, we need to go over here. They leave and the world starts to fall apart. But you, but you know what's crazy, right? This stuff don't... Like, they think this is going to harm us mm -hmm. and not understanding that. Can I get number yeah, yeah, 23, yeah, 23, please? It doesn't work on us. Like, what you meant for evil is going to be for our benefit. All you're doing is killing yourself. You're setting yourself up. Right. For your own, destroy, for your own destruction. Because it's not going to bother us. If you take us out, we don't die. But watch this. 
Because they think they're working so hard to get rid of the Israelites. Mm -hmm. Or us, it's not working. You're killing yourself. Watch this. The book of Numbers, chapter 23, verse 23. Surely there is no enchantment against Jacob. Mm -hmm. Neither is there any divination against Israel. Uh -huh. According to this time, it shall be said of Jacob and of Israel. What have God wrought? So that don't work on us. All that witchcraft stuff you're trying to figure out about the earth and stuff, it don't work on us. Your science don't work on us. We're the Israelites. It don't work on us. So at the end of the day, you can do that all you want. All you can do is hurt your children's children, children. That's all it's going to hurt. Everything revolves around us. This earth was made for us. So, yeah, that's it. it. So now check this out. Check this out. Go back to uh, the summary for dust. Um, well, no, no, no. No, actually, no. You know what? We're gonna cap it off with that. So we're gonna wait on that. What I want you to do is go to number twenty-seven. I think. No, we at twenty-seven now. No, twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. Go to number twenty-eight. Watch this. All right. So I want you to know. So now they have hierarchy there, right? They have hierarchy, and within the silo, they have hierarchy. There's managers' role that's all the way at the top. There's the the mids, which is regular blue collar, and then there's the down deep, which is where the hard work, the generator work, all of that stuff goes on. They, they call it that within the show, just to let you know. And they think that the people down in the down low eat people because they, you know, that's the that's us, by the way. But anyways, um, the whole silo is us. But I want you to just check how how they word it. But in order to get up in seat, or what they call judicial. They call it judicial inside of there. There's one of the guys who will be classified as a government agent to make sure that everything is solidified in the cellar. He calls he's called the janitor. Right. Then there's people called the judge, like Judge Meadows, which is who we're about to look at right here. And let's see what she look like. Let's see what she look like. Is she is she a white woman. Play on. So that's Juliet Nichols. But it's a black sister. I got, uh, allegedly, from allegedly. All the <laughs> I, I just had to because no, and then in the midst of it, she had a relic that was in the middle of her house. But I had to show that because I was like, all right, so I want you to see this sister here sells out the people. This sister here sells the people out. Play on. The devil. So, that's what your secretary said. That she was feeling sick. She didn't stop you from forcing your way in here and. Violating my privacy. Okay, now I, now what I want you to do skip skip ahead just a bit. Right desk, let me click that. Play. Let me see. Oh, her. All right, now she's talking about Gloria. There was this woman that's in the hospital at the moment named Gloria. She was one of the children or the uh, the descendants of the flame keepers, the people who had the rebellion 140 plus years ago. They put her in there because they determined her to be somewhat crazy. And they didn't want her influence to get into other people because Allison, she wound up killing herself and whatever the case is. So they didn't want her influence to rebel to go all over. So they made distractions. They made race to the top. They did a whole bunch of stuff to make sure that whatever she tried to say, don't get noticed. So that she wasn't crazy then. She wasn't crazy. Because if, it, if she's crazy, it's no rated, you shouldn't have to defend it. Yeah, exactly. So that sounds like when we bring out the truth, you're a black, what is it? You black out the truth. Yeah, and make it and put another propaganda out there saying hate group. Sound like the same thing to me. Sound like it to me. That's exactly what it sounds like. Shame on you, shame. So, anyways, <laughs> um, so this is what they did. They had did that. That so now Juliet she went in there to talk to the Meadows, George Meadows, about freeing Gloria from the hospital. You can rep, you can repute that to prison today. You can put it as the actual hospital because they de they devils too. You can do it all of that. Hey. But notice who's in power and who's saying that. Watch, watch. Just I'm not gonna rule. Go ahead, play. It's a black woman, y'all sisters. I tell you, rise up, ye women that are at ease. Go ahead. You got the devil on you. You're jogging her because you think she said something to Alison Becker that made her want to go out. I don't know where you're getting all this. In Gloria's file. Gloria. Gloria said to her so, that she's not the type the silo wanted having children. Okay, so, so I want to talk to her. So now Gloria said that she's not the type because they wind up ruining. Because Juliet Nichols is one of the, the physicians that helps people either get babies, right? But he also is one of the ones that orchestrates which ones do get the children and which ones don't. So they do surgery on the women to either take the pill out or put it back in. He makes sure that he makes it seem like he took it out, but he purposely leaves it in certain women and they never have kids because he's like, you can't have them because you're going to wind up making the silo rebel. 
Cuba does this right now, by the way. Just so y'all know. Cuba does exactly what we're talking about right now. Look it up. Look it up. Cuba does this right now. China does it right now. America does it right now. America's just more devious with it. They all do it right now. Damn. Go ahead. Why? The relic investigation, the one you approved? So now the relic are the things that's within the silo that as you find them, it starts to generate questions as to why are we here? What are we doing? Yeah, it, right. It starts to question. Hey, remember that timestamp that you have right there? What I want you to do is to jump up to, I don't even think I had numbered it. I hope I did, but I don't think I did. Uh, jump up to, I had, I had an image on here, book. I had an image up here with the book that'll get you, that'll get you killed. If you see it. Do I have it on here? Yeah, it's, um, so the relic that'll get you killed. The one that she found that she wound up getting real per bad, like horribly persecuted for. It says the amazing adventures. You, you see it? Huh? Scroll up. Scroll up. Scroll up. It says, uh, hello. Matter of fact, I'm going to reforward it. How about that? that? Let me do it like that. I'm going to reforward it to you. Uh, there it is. Bring that, one, bring that one up. Bring that one up. So, they, so you got to think about the things that wound up when it got you persecuted. So she had found this book that had pictures in it because they have no idea what it's like outside. Even their vision of outside is through a webcam that they can control. They can control how it looks out there. You get killed if you had that. That right there. All that's in there is photos. Beaches, sharks, animals, regular stuff. Things that you give a kid, right? Because it says four kids on there. But that right there, that's the milk. That's the basics. That right there shows, you, shows them how the world looked outside of there. And with that kind of imagery, it sparked revolution. It sparked revolution. Go back to the video. Just that. That one little thing right, right there. Just that caused a lot of people to get raided and killed. I, I didn't even go over all of the show yet. I just picked pieces. The first show, you got to check that one out. The first show goes <laughs> over a lot of the other stuff they was talking about. So go back to the uh, timestamp. She's been on your watch list for years. I figured she might know something. Okay. You're not a good liar, Sheriff. Then let me talk to her and I'll leave you alone. I'm not stopping you. Her brain. So she, is she's so saying, I'm not stopping you. She said, I'm not stopping you from going to uh, go talk to her and deal with her. It ain't, in other words, she's saying, it ain't me that you really try to have the problem with. The ones you got the problem with, you don't see them. The ones you, the ones you, yeah, hey, you got a problem with the people that you don't even know about. Go ahead. With drugs. Gloria doesn't have dementia any more than you. Have a cold. Oh, so not satisfied with Sheriff, a post that you're not qualified to fill. So she wants no. Juliet to be silent because she got a certain post. She's like, hey, you got power. You got a good you got a good apartment that we gave you for this. You don't know how to be silent with what you got? You have to go and find other information? You want to go search out? That's what they try. Go ahead. Yeah, the sheriff is talking. Yes. You got to say it on the mic. The conversation. Are you saying that the sheriff? I'm still trying to catch on. Yeah. So the sheriff is telling her to be quiet about this stuff. Oh, is the other way? No, around? the her right there, Judge oh. Meadows. Yeah, she's trying to tell the sheriff, which is the woman that's right yeah. there, Juliet, the white girl. Mm -hmm. She's trying to tell her. Oh, so sheriff ain't good enough for you? Okay. Because you're like, oh well, you got a title, you got a, a cozy you're position, yeah. you're living good. You don't know how to be quiet and keep what you got. You right. celebrities out there, by the way, is who they're talking about. Right. That's why I'm showing this, cause she has notoriety in that silo. She has notoriety, but for her to have that, there's people above her that you don't see. Move us off, move us off. There are people that you don't see that's controlling those who are in that seat. That's what she's saying. Like Amalek. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Watch. Play on. I'm diagnosing people. You don't want me to be sheriff. I want to talk to Gloria. So why don't you lift whatever medical order she's under, and then I'll turn in my badge by the end of the week. I want you to go. Okay. Before I summon judicial security. Don't threaten me with Sims. Sims is I'm a janitor. The one I was talking about, the FBI, the CIA. Go ahead. Because he had, he's a CIA because he has a room that he goes into called the janitor's closet. And it's literally a room full of screens going into everybody's houses. But you know how they see the people? Within their mirror is the camera. Everybody inside of every part of the silo has mirrors, and in that mirror has a camera. But you know what you look at now today that's like your mirror? 
your phone. Yep. Your phone. They can look at you. They can stare at you. You ever wondered why sometimes randomly, randomly without you saying anything, Siri just pop up? Or, or how on some of your newer phones, like your iPhone 14s and so on and so forth, you look in the middle, that little black thing that's in the middle, black box that holds your camera and whatnot that can expand or, sm- or shrink. Sometimes in there, there's a, a little green or red dot that starts to play, and then, it, and then it goes away when you look at it. You ever notice when... You know, you're having the whole conversation. The next thing you know, you go on the, uh, 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 the Safari app and it shows you what you've been talking about the whole time? Yeah, there's a reason for that. There's a reason why that stuff pops up. And no, I know, I understand you're talking about location services. Well, then you got to ask about, well, why is it that location services randomly want to activate while my phone is off? Right. And, th- and this is not a conspiracy theorist theory because they actually did this on the news. They, they had a whole conversation to see what happened to the phones and they picked up everything they've been talking about. Yeah. So you're not free if you've been monitored. Yeah, you're in a silo. In, a.k.a. you in a system. Yeah, you're in that. You don't know what life outside really is. You don't know what survival, surviving. You know what surviving is. You don't know what to live feels like. And you don't know what freedom Damn. is. Yeah. Freedom Day is a farce. That's that, ever, that, that stuff. That Right. You ever seen the Trump show? Freedom Day is like Juneteenth. Go ahead. It was not the Trump show, the Truman show. The Truman Show is a, another show that tells you exactly how America is. Like, if you never hey. see outside America, you think everything is disgusting. Other countries is the third world countries is, is pitiful. Like how they do Africa. Mm-hmm. Africa is the most beautiful place. That's the way everything began. And how can you tell a place that's not? There's a third world country and it's disgusting and it's, it's, there's no level organization there. But when you go there, it's the most beautiful place on the f- face of the earth. Yeah, hey, there's scenery in Africa you still haven't seen yet. There was, listen. Bro, I'm telling you, this, Africa, I, is, Africa is on another I know level. I didn't even go, but when, I'm not saying, when the job came out, right? Cause I messed up the first time. Yeah. When the job came out the first time, and it was cold here, that's when they did it in the winter. Yeah. They asked for uh, PSR, of course. They had a. Uh, they asked for sisters or brothers from Africa to show videos how it look. They had mad greenery, beautiful mountains, looking good, and we over here like, yo, we going through it over here. Yeah, hey, over here, we're in the silo. Outside looks barren and waste. Hey. Over there, they have now. Listen, the world ain't to its beauty yet, but from what I've seen, just personal opinion, what I've seen, the other side of the world looks better. Hey. The other side of this place over here. It's slavery. It's, ma- it's not made for you to be comfortable here. It's made for you to be happy in your imprisonment. All this place is is Damn. a big jail cell. That's what America is. Even though I hit uh, the, it's the movie called The Lorax, it's the same thing. It's a cartoon. Yeah, I know but what you're talking about. It's the same thing. They got them within a, 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 a place, just like Solo. Yep. The same place. If you go outside, you'll die. And they were like, you, sh- you should want trees. Mm-hmm. Trees is... Is, is is nasty and disgusting. I don't know what they do good for because everything was all uh, all na- uh, fake plastic. Thank you, plastic, mm-hmm. right? So that's how they, they put it in cartoons. And then he said, "How do you know I was playing games with my parents?" He said, "We watch everything, and they had cameras all over the place." Hey, you know what's crazy? We're gonna get to that. Watch. We're gonna get to that. What you just said. Play on. Watch this. Let me take Gloria out of medical for a few hours, and then I'll be back down in mechanical before you know it. It's not possible. Of course it is. You lift the order. So she's saying, she thinking she's talking to the power. But watch this. Go ahead. I can't. She said, I can't do it. Now, look, I want you to notice. Everything else she was saying at a regular tone. But that time she whispered. She said, I can't. She was being real with it. She said, I can't. Because that's why there's other scenes. When you're inside of your silo apartment in there, they had to turn the water on. So that way they can't hear them. They turn the water on. Right there, she didn't turn the water on or nothing like that. So right now she's trying to be very, see, she's like, I can't do it. I'm telling you, get the fuck out. That's what we trying, you know. But anyways, go ahead. Judge. I said I can't. And there isn't anything that I can do about it. Why? No, play. You need to stop doing what you're doing. Because it's going to get you killed. find out what I want to know. Huh. Who will not let me? What do you mean? She said, they'll never let you. Who? 
pause. She's like, they'll never let you get what you want to know. She said, they. Because she, she's supposed to be the ultimate power in there. She said, they'll never let you. So that makes sense now. It's like America with Amalek. Yep. America is the big face of everything, but Amalek is behind the whole matter. The Jewish. The, the, yeah, Jewish. I'm yeah, sorry. I know y'all don't know who Amalek is. The Jewish. Let me go ahead. I want to get that precept. What you got? Uh, Jeremiah. Uh, oh, yeah, let, yeah. I'm a, I'm a, so why, why you find yeah, that? 420. Yeah, why you, fin- why you find uh, the thing for that? Give me that. Keep, keep playing on. She said, they'll never let you. Go ahead. Who are they? Now look at what she realized. What did Juliet realize? <gasps> Is this how it works? She started crying. The apartment, the relics? You get to keep them as long as you're quiet? Pause. Huh, this is how it works? You get to keep all of this as long as you're quiet? You celebrities out there? You get to keep it as long as you're quiet? You politicians out there? You get to keep it as long as you're quiet? Entertainers out there? You get to keep it as long as you're quiet? You, uh, political parties out there? I already said that. Oh, dang. I'll try to keep going. All right. But, uh, yeah, that's Jeremiah 49 to 20. Right. Same thing. Yeah, it's it's like, always some, like, it's always somebody higher it's behind the scenes that controls everything that you don't see. That you don't see. That you don't see. Hey, look, hey, check ahead, it, check it. Ahead. This is the silo where, they're at, where the show is going on, right? The ones who's controlling it don't live in that silo. They're somewhere else. They're somewhere else. This is the camera, right? Y'all confusing me with how y'all doing it. I do like the angles, though. I do like the angles. I think it's kind of fire. They're somewhere else. <laughs> um, now, now, that being said, all right, good. Excelente, excelente. Go to um. Oh yeah, you got your scripture. Hey, we good, we good. The book of Jeremiah, chapter forty-nine, verse twenty. And go to number twenty-nine after that. Mm-hmm. Therefore, hear the counsel of the Lord. So it says, therefore, hear the counsel of the Lord that He hath taken against Edom, taken against Edom, NATO and, in NATO. particular. Go ahead. And and His purposes that He hath purposed uh-huh. against the inhabitants of Teman, USA, the uh, Babylon the Great. Surely the least the of who? The, the least. Who is the least among the nation of Edom? Jewish. Amalek. Right? Go ahead. Devil. Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. So the least of this nation of Edom, which is the Jewish man, Amalek, will draw America out. Them the ones behind the scenes that you don't see. Read on. Surely he shall make their habitations desolate with them. Uh-huh. Read that last one again. Surely he shall make their habitations desolate with So them. at least uh, the ones that's behind the scene got majority of the power. You understand? Because even with Gosabar, with, with Biden saying he was a Zionist, that means you're a part of, of a program to help the Jewish man have his own land. Christian program. Christian program. Mm-hmm. Right? But Christian. Th- yeah, Christian. Yeah. Christianity, same thing. You know? Give me number 29. If we had did this all in one show last week, this would have been like minimum four hours. Uh, so now, this is what I was telling you. This, this is janitor. So now they was trying to find Juliet. They was trying to find Juliet to come. In. They was trying to come after her. Yeah, that's common. Uh, they was trying to come after her because she was trying to put out the images she found on the hard drive because she was fine. She was learning that everywhere in like around the silos is where you die. But there is a place that you can go and it's called seed. Seed is per se the kingdom. Seed will be where they can live. But the, the people, they call them the fathers. The fathers are the ones who they look at to as a God. They're the ones who have put them in the silo. The ones who put them in the silo never had the intentions. It was a lie that everybody would be able to come back out of the silo. They only intended for one silo to repopulate the earth. All the rest of them stay on the ground. They wanted the rest of them to die. So she's trying to show everybody, no, there's better than where we're at. So the FBI and CIA start to come down on her hard and they wanted her dead. Sounds familiar, don't it? Watch this. Go ahead. Nichols visited Hildebrand in medical? Yesterday. Show me. How 
How long have those been there? They were so, there yesterday. Now that's, it's about, that's the mirror. Sorry, sir. We'll send someone in. So, so now she's like, okay, well, she's now plotting on how she can get it out, right? So, she winds up getting the images out, and it's spread throughout everybody, and everybody starts to see the image of sea. They start to see the wilderness, right? Okay, the last one, give me number 30, and then what we're going to do from there, we're going to jump uh, back to dust. We're going to jump back to that. We're going to jump back to that one. So, go uh, number 30, the flame keepers. Watch this. You got me? Flame keepers. Come on. There it is. Wow. Horribly small. Gloria? Oh. Gloria? I'm Dr. Yeah, Nichols. Just like this girl is wow. your small. Okay. Nichols. Nichols. Yeah. I know you. All right, so she, I know you. Remember, she's the one that actually told um, Allison and Holston. Do you really think you're the type that they want to have kids? She's the one that said that to him. And she didn't have children because she was like, well, anyways, watch you play, 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 play. I know you. What do you want from me? It's okay, it's okay. He's my dad. He's just, he's just trying to help you. He works for them. He works for them, the, the <laughs> judicial. Go ahead. It was him. He but, was but, but, oh, wait, wait. But that's the doctor. He he works for them. Yeah, yeah. Or, or look at it today. He's a doctor. He he cares for my well being. Yeah, he cares for my well being. Oh, oh. Go ahead. Ooh, ooh. Doctor, what's she talking about? What's was she one of your? You. Patients? It was you. Well, answer me. Were you? Was I don't. It, it would have been forty years ago. He so. stopped me from having a baby. What? See. It was you. He stopped me from having a baby. No. It all come back. You're upsetting her. I, I'm not the one who's put her through this. Go. Get out of here. All right, no. skip Get ahead a little here. bit. Hey. Skip ahead. Skip ahead. So go to. Keep going. Keep going. Go. 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 So Gloria is the one that allegedly supposed to be the crazy one, right? Allegedly. Right. Keep going. All right. Go. Click. Press play for right there. Let me see. I, I can't remember her name. Okay. Okay. Shh. She was one of us. What do you mean, one of us? Okay, now go back. I'm sorry. Go back. Uh, press play right there. You've seen this before, haven't you? So now, you remember that book? All right. So she's like, hey. So the Gloria, she's the one that had gave the book to another woman at one point. And then it wound up finding itself in Juliet's hands. Watch this. Go ahead. Oh. Oh, oh my. It was a book. Where did you get this from? Belonged to someone I knew, George. The Bible. I was told he got it from you. Little George. Little George. He's not the one I gave it to. I gave it to his mother. I, I, I can't remember her name. Okay. 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 She, she was one of us. She's a one of us. One Who's of us? us? I don't know you. And I don't know what you want. Okay. Watch this. Have you heard of the Flame Keepers? So the Flame Keepers, right? Flame keepers. Okay, keeping that light. That's because they erased us. They erased Who the did? flame keepers. The silo. They've been trying ever since the rebellion. That's Pause. They now they've been trying since 140 years ago. And that's why they celebrated because they thought they had got rid of all of them. And they want to make sure they keep everything that the rebellion did and why they existed hushed. So you mean to tell me the celebration that was in the beginning that we've seen was celebrating not their freedom, but to say they killed all the flame uh Keepers. Yeah, to say they got got rid of well, all the flame keepers. That they, they actually know the outside, what happened on the outside. Yeah, they, trying to rebel, basically. Yeah, trying to rebel mm. because they influenced other silos. Right. Damn. They influenced other silos 140 years ago. So that's a representation of Nat Turner. Mm. That. They, yeah. They yep. is, they influenced other silos and they want to kill all of that and they lied to the masses saying that they try to kill us by opening the silo door. So you mean to tell me that when they say they do secret plots? against us and we gonna be in that same way too to saying that we were the evil ones yeah that's exactly it mm. that's exactly it so they try to kill all of all of the flame keepers and she's still one of them right so play on something in the water so memories would fade no oh, wait 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 wait. Go, wait 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 no pause go back a little bit go back a little bit i want y'all to catch the nugget it's not just a show there's a reason why it's not safe to drink tap water Unless you boil it most of the time. There's a reason why it's not safe to drink certain bottled water. 
I'm just, yeah, listen, your food, there's a reason why America has, the pe- has people here that wear the most glasses and most other places and other parts of the countries that you consider third world that have fresh food don't wear glasses. There's a reason for that. There's a reason for that. Watch, play it again. Who did? The silo. They've been trying ever since the rebellion. That's when they put something in the water so memories would fade. Pause. Damn. So they put something in the water to make memories fade. Damn. In the water to make the memories devil. fade. Hmm. 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 You ever thought about this black man, Hispanic man, and woman? Native Indian, Native Indian also. Y'all all black. So you, you see me nice too. You think that you ain't black. You black too. Y'all, right. niggas, y'all niggas too per se. So watch this. That's right. Um, you ever thought about it? You have grocery stores or whatever the case is, right? You go in there. You feel like you have a choice, a freedom of choice to eat what you want. Well, who chose the groceries to go in that store? Like you ever thought about that? Like who? Why, why is it I only have this selection? Why can't I go in a grocery store and if I wanted to, I can go buy some bison? I don't have the choice to get bison. I have to go and hunt it. I can't go get it because it's not there. Because you want me to only have this. Why is it that my fish have to be cold and on like square slabs inside of a bag instead of me getting some good fresh wild caught? Why can't I have it like that? Now, you, people can make the argument, oh, go to the market or whatever. Well, is every kind of fish that we can have that's clean in the market? Or is what's put in our face shrimp, crab, lobster, catfish, and whatnot? Message. Hmm. Go ahead. Why I gotta go to the market and get caged, uh, caged in chicken, and not wild freak uh, chicken? Yeah, it's free chicken. Why I gotta go in there and when I want some fish? How do we really know that it's salmon and not catfish? Hmm. Well, I gotta second guess my thought because you can tell, I about, you can tell about the meat. You know. Yeah, yeah, no, I know. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, true. But I'm just saying, at the end of the day, why can't we uh, see what we get? You know what I mean? That 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 yes. Did Why I? can't we see Bishop Yasa, if you remember, he had did uh something about when you go to certain neighborhoods in New York. And I've seen them in New Orleans. There's a lot of places where they have them at. You go up to the window, but they don't let you inside. They choose your bread for you, right? You know, the grocery store is kind of like that. You didn't really choose your food. You just grab what they put in there for you. Right. And think that is it's kosher. Yeah, think that's it's good. cohesive. Yeah, you right. think that's good for you. You're a slave. Go ahead, play on. They wanted to erase the past and anyone who tried to preserve it. Mm. So they want to erase the past and anybody who wants to preserve it or bring it back. That's why God said, remember the former days. Ask or, or inquire of your, of your forefathers for they'll teach you. Job, that's Job 8 and 8. Give me that real quick. Job 8. Keep this right here. No, bring it back. Bring it back. Yeah, keep it right there. Give me Job. The book of Job, chapter 8, verse 8. Uh-huh. For inquire, I pray thee, of the former age. Inquire of the former age, the past. In other words, stop trying to be modern. Modern is a separation from traditional values. Look it up. That's what it means. Go ahead. And prepare thyself to the search of their fathers. And prepare yourself for the search. Because you have to prepare. Because there's people who don't want you to be prepared to search. There's people who's going to hinder the search of the relic. There's people that's going to hinder that search. Prepare yourself for that search. Go ahead. Because it's a war. Once you get back into the Bible, because I was in college. Oh, you in the Bible? Yeah. That made it like it's a bad thing. It made it an attitude. Yeah. Oh, you in the Bible? Yeah. What you can you get about reading that Bible all the time? Huh? That's a retarded. I'm question. confused. You boy, you you trying to be you trying to be perfect. No, what it is is you seeing your somebody that's actually applying God's laws and commandments and you feel ashamed that you're not. That you know you're living wrong. That's what it is. And right. you don't want to change your ways. Right. We don't. Verse nine. Uh-huh. For we are but of yesterday. But of yesterday. And know nothing. And we don't know much because the reason why we're but of yesterday is we, we are quick to die. Our, our frame is weak. Go ahead. Because our days upon the earth are a shadow. So now real quick from there, hold, go to Psalms 103 and 14. I want to say this. Psalms 103 and 14. Watch this one. Because it says we are but of yesterday. So you need to know what your, what your fathers did so that way you can better make decisions. Now you need to know their mistakes and their, and their, uh, their milestones. 
Watch this. The book of Psalms, chapter 103, verse 14. Uh-huh. For he knoweth our frame. For God knows our frame. Go ahead. He remembereth that we are dust. He knows how small we are. Read. Verse 15. As for man, uh -huh. his days are as grass. Read. As a flower of the field, so he fl flourishes. Right. Now, I'm going to show you how that precepts. He, he's as the flower of the field, so he flourishes. Right? Watch this. Go back again to Job, chapter 8. Now, read that again. The book of Job, chapter 8, verse 9. Uh-huh. For we are but of yesterday. We're but of yesterday. And know nothing. And know nothing. Because our days upon the earth are a shadow. Watch this. So, chat, verse 10. Shall not they teach thee? Your forefathers, go ahead. And tell thee. Read. And utter words out of their heart. When you read this book, go ahead. Can the rush grow up without mire? Uh-huh. Can the flag grow without water? Can a flag grow without water? So it's given a representation of other things with life that while life is short for those other uh, vegetation plants and so on and so forth, it's giving a representation of that, saying how one needs the other. In order for you to properly survive, you need to have the search of your fathers inside of you. Otherwise, you won't properly survive because your life on earth is already short. But you need to extend your life a little bit by knowing the search of your fathers. Go ahead. Will it stick? Whilst? Whilst it is yet in his greenness. Uh-huh. And not cut down. Read. It wither forth. It wither it wet. Wither it wither before it. any other herb. Right. So that's the same like we just read in Psalms 103. But we have to prepare ourselves to the search of our fathers. That's why. So that's why she's going in. She was saying they put some in the waters to make us forget. Play. Who were the flame keepers? The people who fought back, who kept things like this book to keep their memories alive. Mm. Are you one of them? To yes, keep their I memories will. alive. Yo, this scene. So, for things that are written aforetime was written for our learning through patience and comfort that we might have hope. Yeah. Did I quote that word? You, 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 you did your best. Just, just get in there. Let's make sure. Romans 15. Now, nah, let's remember that he said it like that. Hey, play. <laughs> <laughs> now, you go ahead now. Get to yeah. But yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Until they put our flame out. Until your flame is out. So they wanted to keep you stupid, dumbed down. Yeah, that's how the light went. Man, that's good. Give me, get that lamentations. one. Lamentations? Yeah, lamentations. Get that. That's good. I'm just had a light dim with three, four. Yeah, I think it's a four and one. How has the gold become dim? Something like that. Yep, that's what happened. That means we got dumbed down. Our morality yeah. is gone. But the class about that. It's his class. <laughs> <laughs> four, 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 four and one. The book of Lamentations, chapter four, verse one. Uh huh. How has the gold become no. dim? Read again. How is the gold become dim? It became dim by us getting destroyed and losing our nationality, losing God's laws and commandments, losing our morality. Read on. How is the most fine gold changed? How that we was in the glory of, of, of our peakest time on the earth by keeping God's laws and commandments. How did it get changed? By breaking his commandments. Read. The, sto the stones of the sanctuary are poured out. In the top of every street. He's poured out on every street. So even likewise with the show, he's showing that they killed the flank. What is it called? Flank keepers? Uh-huh. And, try, and dumb, dumb them down to make them forget who they are. Right. What was their purpose? What life was before? To kill the next generation like nothing happened. You understand? But it's the spirit in the man. You understand? The spirit of man to give the inspiration to God, uh, for God. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, go back to Dust. Go back to dust. Go back to the, uh, the th you know what I'm talking about, the summary. All right, so, 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 it made the world unlivable, right? That's where we left off at. Juliet calls Silo 1. Let's get that. Juliet. We're we almost done, y'all. Come on, Juliet. Juliet calls Silo 1 uh -huh. and confronts Donald. And confronts Donald. Who realizes what she is describing. Go ahead. Destructive nanobots that attack human tissue have flooded the outside world. So, well, it populates. So, now, now, now. What, what this does, what this means is that when they walk outside of the silo, in particular, that area is nanobot filled to make sure that when you step out and breathe, you breathe in, you die. Damn. That's what it is. Go ahead. Due to adventure outside, they are ripping apart Donald's body. Uh. Soon after, Thurman brutally beats and arrests Donald. Through his sister, Charlotte escapes. Though so, his sister, Charlotte escapes. Scroll down. Silo 18. 
Silo 18 grows more uneasy and erupts in violent riots. So riots. It, it erupts into violent riots. Um, well, keep, keep going. Juliet attempts to calm the riots. Right. Elise Kip keeps going missing, much to Jimmy's concern. Right. Jimmy is one of the ones in Silo 17 who, when they fail, he wound up going into Silo 18. Go ahead. Thurman decides to remove. So, there was, so in other words, there was fleeing going on inside of America. There was fleeing. There was running. Go ahead. Well, because right now the silos or America is currently at this moment is getting destroyed. So there's fleeing and running going on. Just look at this. Watch the correlation. Just play. Uh, read on. I'm telling you, this show is very spiritual. Very, very, very. Go ahead. Thurman decides to remotely terminate Silo 18. So he decides to remotely terminate. So that's when the dragon is wroth with the woman and, ma and makes war with her seed. So he's like, now we need to go and get them because it's becoming a problem. Too, bu too much of a problem. At first, when we read it, if you saw, they said, leave her alone. The cleaner that went out, leave her alone. Now it's saying, oh, well, now we need to go ahead and kill them. Go ahead. As poisonous gas begins to seep out of the wall. Go ahead. Lucas tells Juliet to get people to Silo 17. Uh-huh. So that was the one that had got destroyed at first. Go ahead. After she manages to lead about 200 people through the tunnel. Go ahead. So friend, on the ground railroad, read. A friend sacrifices herself to seal off the tunnel. So there's going to be people who die trying to get to freedom. Go ahead. And ensure their survival. Go ahead. Lucas dies in Silo, Silo. In Silo 18, 18's IT department. Go down. Charlotte. Charlotte listens to the destruction on the radio and decides to rescue her brother and try to save the silos. So, matter of fact, scroll down a little bit more. Uh, it says Juliet stops the... Hold on, pause, pause. Let me see, let me see. I want to look at something. Uh, scroll down a little bit. Uh, with help... Uh, start at... Scroll down one more time. Just a little bit more. A little bit more. All right, good. Now, go, go back up. Start right there where it says... Scroll up. Right there where it says, with help. With help, Charlotte rescues Donald who revealed that all, the, all silos have several methods of self-destruction. So all of them have ways of self-destructing. Go ahead. Including Silo 1. Where the main leaders who started the war back in 2052 are at. Go ahead. They're still there, alive. Go ahead. They prepared to escape in hazmat suits. So they wanted to go away. They wanted to leave out with hazmat suits, certain kinds. Go ahead. But Donald first goes to destroy Silo 1. Uh-huh. And Thurman. Bye. Exploding the silo behind Charlotte uh -huh. as she begins to trek across the barren land. So she, she decides to go now walk across dry land. I'm going to get the scripture in a second. Go ahead. Juliet reaches the server room and discovers that the servers are a map pointing to seed. So she goes to the server room and discovers that there are, there's a map pointing to seed. To seed. To seed. So that's when you see on the show, there's, you see it looks barren, but then there's this image of green pastures. Right? That's the seed that they're going to make their way to. Watch. Go ahead. A potential, a potential haven far beyond the silos. So far beyond the silos. Our homeland is far beyond this silo. Go ahead. She decides to pursue life rather than revenge. Uh-huh. Many survivors agree to join her. Right. And they work together to upgrade the hazmat suits uh -huh. so they can walk over land to see. Pause right there and go to Isaiah 11. Isaiah chapter 11 and verse, hold on. I pulled this out last week, but I need to do it again. Isaiah chapter 11 and verse uh, 15. The book of Isaiah chapter 11, verse 15. Uh -huh. And the Lord shall utterly destroy the tongue of the Egyptian sea. So he's going to do, what's happening here is a repeat of what happened when Moses had delivered us with the spirit of the Lord on him. And he's going to smite the Egyptian sea. So watch this, go ahead. And with his mighty wind shall he shake his hand over the river Reap. and shall smite it in the seven streams uh -huh. and, make even, and make men go over dry shots. So he's going to smite the river and it's going to go up just like it did during the time of Moses. It's going to be a wall on both sides, water. Then we're going to go walk across dry land again toward the kingdom, toward Jerusalem. Go ahead. Verse 16. Uh -huh. And there shall be a highway for the remnant of his people. The people like oh, the, the remnant on his, like 200 want to go with him. That will be a representation of the nation of Israel going, leaving. So they're like, okay, well, we want to pursue life rather than the revenge on these silos. Let's go over to seed also. Let's go to the kingdom also. Go ahead. Which shall be left from Assyria. Read. Like as it was 
to Israel in the day that he came up out of the land of Egypt. Same way it happened back then, it's going to happen again. So that's why when we go back to the, the uh, book now, we'll go back to that again. Go back to the book. That's why when it says they upgraded their hazmat suits so they can walk over land to seed. That's them upgrading their spirit, getting themselves right so they can make that journey. Go ahead. Juliet and the others walked over land and discovered a safe, beautiful wilderness. Pause. I'm just saying, I had to get quiet on it because you, you, you see the words. Overland discover a safe, beautiful wilderness. wilderness. They walk to the wilderness, through the wilderness. Huh. Sounds interesting. Sounds familiar. Let's get it. Ezekiel. <laughs> it's 20 something. 20 something, 33. 20. Help me out, James. Give me that scripture uh, on the wilderness. Matter of fact, you know what? You know, no, 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 no. I'm going to tell you which one I want. I don't want Ezekiel. I want Isaiah. I'm going to show you. Hold on, wait. I'll show you which one I want. Uh, so go to Isaiah 35 and 1. This is what I want. This is the one I want. Because it says, it said a beautiful, get that, get that again. Give me, get, come on. It said they walk to see, so Juliet and the others walk over land and discover a safe, beautiful wilderness with a tower filled with supplies. Watch this. Isaiah 35 and 1. Read that. The book of Isaiah chapter 35 verse 1. Go ahead. The wilderness and the solitary place shall be glad for them. So the wilderness shall be glad for us finally putting our feet back on that soil. Go ahead. And the desert shall rejoice. And blossom as the rose. So it said, and the desert shall rejoice. Matter of fact, hey, hold that right there. Go back to the back to the article one more time. One more time. Now go up just a little bit, tad bit. A little bit. Now, right there, stop. Wait, say, you see where it says, but Donald? Right? Yes, sir. But Donald, read that, James. But Donald move first goes. Move but, the, no, move the mouse. Thank you. But Donald. But Donald first goes to destroy Silo One uh -huh. and Thurman. Exploding the silo behind Charlotte. As she what? As she begins to trek across the barren land. So it was barren land that they had to walk across first to get toward the wilderness. But in here, when we get there, go back down to the, uh, the, the paragraph. It said Juliet. Scroll down. So Juliet and others walk over land and discover a safe, beautiful wilderness. Isaiah 35 and 1. One more again. The book of Isaiah chapter 35 verse 1. Uh -huh. The wilderness and the solitary place shall be glad for them. Uh-huh. And the desert shall rejoice and blossom as the rose. It shall rejoice and blossom as the rose. Let me help you out. When we walk upon that desert, as, as we're seeing it, as we're walking on it, it's going to start coming to life. Flowers are going to start coming up. As we start walking literally on that desert, it's going to start coming up and becoming beautiful. Go ahead. Verse 2. Read. It shall blossom abundantly. It's going to start coming alive right before our eyes. Read. And rejoice even with joy and singing. And then that's why it says the creature oh, waits for the earnest manifestation of the sons right. of God. That's the land that's going to start rejoicing at us. We're going to start hearing music from things we ain't thinking talk. Anyways, go ahead. The glory of Lebanon shall be given unto it. Come on. The excellency of Carmel and Sharon, they shall see the glory of the Lord. Read. And the excellency of our God. So now, it says, you had something? No, I was just about to say, that's how you know the rightful people is in their rightful place. Right. Once you step and things grow, it's like when Michael Jackson walking on them bricks and things glowed up, that's how it is when we get back in that wilderness. Yeah. So, and then what's this? Verse 3, read. Verse 3. Strengthen ye the weak hands. So it said, get your hazmat suits ready, like it said on the thing. Get yourselves ready for this journey. Strengthen ye the weak hands. And confirm the feeble knees. So stop being weak. Let's go ahead and move. Come on. Say to them Read. that are of a fearful heart. Say to them, go ahead. Be strong. So this is about to be a hard journey, but we're going to make it. Go ahead. Be strong. Fear not. Fear not. Behold, your God will come with vengeance. Uh-huh. Even God with the recompense. Uh-huh. He will come and save you. He will come and save you, and then we're going to get brought to that beautiful land through the wilderness. So go back to that. Yeah, hey, he said, he said that was it, no, no, no. Because you can finish that whole chapter with the wilderness. But go ahead. Uh, I want to finish it right here where it says, well, actually, I want to finish it with the song. But it says, beautiful wilderness with the tower filled with supplies. Nanotechnology, read that. Nanotechnology only affects the area around the silo. So America, that place is going to be filled with the radiation. 
is going to be filled with the radiation that the bombs dropped. That has now become the realm of destruction, the realm of torture. That's what America is going to be. Go ahead. So they are free to settle the world uh -huh. as they see fit. As they see fit, Reed. Because now it's ours. Go ahead. Charlotte joins them. Go ahead. Juliet and Elise names constellations after Lucas and Elise's puppy as the survivors plan their future. Now, now, that being said, I want to play again uh, the track with uh, your host with Second Kings. So that's, that's what it is right there because I want y'all to listen to it. Matter of fact, this is what I'm going to do. Go back to Isaiah 35 and read verse 4 again. Start at 3 actually again. The book of Isaiah chapter 35 verse 3. Uh-huh. Strengthen you the weak hands. Go ahead. And confirm the feeble knees. Confirm the feeble knees. Go ahead. Say to them that I'll ever feel for heart. Go ahead. Be strong. Fear not. Behold, your God will come with vengeance. Uh -huh. Even God with a recompense. Go ahead. He will come and save you. He'll save you. Read. Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened. Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened. Healing is happening now. Go ahead. And the ears of the deaf shall be unstopped. So they'll be able to hear again. Go ahead. Then shall the lame man. The man that had, the limp, that had that limp forever. Read. Then the lame man. Then shall the lame man leap as a heart. He's going to have power. Go ahead. And the tongue of the dumb sing. So he's going to be able to sing and finally be able to talk because he couldn't. Go ahead. For in the wilderness, For in the wilderness shall, shall waters break out. Shall waters break out. So you're going to start seeing, seeing streams of floods bursting out of the ground and start to water the whole land that just start to bring up. Go ahead. And streams in the desert. And streams are coming in the desert that hadn't, hadn't rained in thousands of years. Go ahead. And the parched ground shall become a pool. And the parched ground that was parched shall become a pool. Read. And the thirsty land springs, springs of water. Go ahead. In the habitation of dragons. In the habitation where a lot of snakes dwell in that arid desert. Go ahead. Where each lay shall be grass with reeds and rushes. Where reeds and rushes shall be healthy land when we step foot over there. Beautiful, like I said. Go ahead. And a highway shall be there. And a highway, a highway, like we just read in Isaiah 11, a highway shall be there. Go ahead. And a way. Read. And it shall be called the way of holiness. And that's, the, that's what it's going to be called. The way of holiness. The entering into the land of freedom. The kingdom. Jerusalem. Go ahead. The unclean shall not pass over. The unclean ain't going to be able to make it over there. It ain't for them. Go ahead. But it shall be for those. Read. The wayfaring man. The wayfaring man. Those do, do fools. Read. Shall not err therein. Shall not err therein. Go ahead. No lion shall be there. Uh-huh. Nor any... Ravenous, Ravenous beast. beast shall go up thereon. Uh -huh. It shall not be found there. So read a little clearer. Come on, help me out. But the redeemed shall walk there. But the redeemed. So everything that was making mention of that won't, it won't be there. But the redeemed shall go in. Go ahead. And the ransom and, of the Lord. And the ransom of the Lord. Shall return and come to Zion with song. They'll be happy that they'll be able to sing, rejoice, dance, and live this earth freely. Go ahead. And everlasting joy upon their heads. Uh-huh. They shall obtain joy and gladness. They shall obtain joy and gladness. And sorrow and sighing shall flee away. There's no more there because we're no longer in the silo. Well, it said the Lord coming back singing. Yeah, that's it. There yeah, it that's is. fire. There yep. we go. Hey. That, hey, that, that, I don't know what to say. Yeah, that, that, oh, that's what it is. That's all we're going to have. Look, we're going to have our power. We're going to be smiling. We're going to be happy. Right? Hey, imagine that. No more sighing, man. You know, I yeah. do that every morning. Yeah, be like, hey, yeah. <sighs> Here we go. Ain't, ain't All right, let's get that. Yeah, you know, ain't no more, ain't no more of this. You, yeah, no more of that, you know? Hey, so, y'all, that's been the show. I'm not going to play this. I'm not going to uh, break. I was going to go through the song, but I'll, it, we'll be here another. Anyways, just listen to the lyrics on the song because it plays a big part into what we was bringing out the, these two shows. Uh, but that's going to conclude this class here this show hope y'all enjoyed it um the next three shows we have some bangers i gotta tell y'all what they are i gotta tell you uh -huh. it's not gonna be in this order but i'm gonna tell you what it is one afro futurism mm -hmm. black the black kingdom that's that's gonna be the next one afro afro futurism the black kingdom then we have high school drama because mm. kids going you know so we have that one and then we have one for all you nostalgic brothers and sisters who always love to meditate back when y'all were younger called The Good Old Days. Mm. So these three, we're going to have those three right there. Y'all get yourselves ready for all of those. Because it's coming for you. We're coming for you. Right. All right? All right, that's, hey, that's going to conclude the show. I'm Officer Abraham. Officer Hezekiah. And this is the Armor oh God. Armor, Armor, Armor God radio show. Go ahead, play, oh, that, okay. play that soundtrack. Let's end it off with that soundtrack.
that it was. They just starting to catch up buzz. Opposition get nipped in the bud. Wiser than the crowds around me. I'm observing time. Like our knowledge, we just peeking through the blinds of outside. But don't call me Einstein because it's easy to MC. Besides that dismantle all the lies of headlong enterprises. Yeah. Hey, you know these devils wear disguises, but they can't be you. Why? We was bought with a price that's priceless. Though we got our vices, I pray he save us from the dark. Uh, using all outlets to start a spark. Taking charge, vanguards got a